He's not going to do nothing. He's not going to do nothing. He'll, he'll do it even on a Friday night. You do what I tell him. It's it time <laughs> for Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show, episode 190. What is going on, peoples? It's me, your boy Smith, as always, joined by the usual suspects. We are here live tonight. Having some fun. Got a few things to talk about tonight. Want to just uh, give it a minute, let uh, let all the uh, lovely people gather, come uh, and join us. It's all good. I'm already here. Oh, <laughs> Don't make me fall in love. Uh, I'm already here. <laughs> We're already here. <laughs> Yes, you are, and so is everyone else. So thank you for joining us tonight, as always. Gojira, Gojira is here holding it down in the chat, as always. Hi, Gojira. It's just, it's just uh, the before, Friday before, night delights. Before we get started, uh, Gojira, I want to know, did you watch the new Texas Chainsaw yet? Uh, I've yet to watch it. I'm going to watch it tomorrow in between Elimination Chamber and uh, No Surrender, but I don't know. Did you watch it yet? Texas Chainsaw. Yeah, I'm also watching, or I'm going to try and watch it tomorrow as well. I have good hopes, I would think. We'll all watch Texas Chainsaw tomorrow. Well, I won't, though. Um. <laughs> You son of a gun. Oh. I almost said not, the B word. It's not my bag, baby. Not my bag, baby. Oh, oh, but oh. That's okay. <clears throat> Don't do horror movies, sir. I like my comedies and or actions and every now and then mystery. Just, just uh, do you like Ghost? Do you like Ghostbusters twenty sixteen? I do not. <laughs> All right, so this is just a, it's just like a like a a random story, but I'll I'll tell it really quick. Uh, so the other day is actually my my wife that was watching Ghostbusters twenty sixteen, and I'm like, all right, like I'll I'll sit down and like watch it because whatever, there's nothing else on, and I. Uh, I, I called for my, my daughter to come down and watch it with us. And she was kind of looking at it for a little bit. And she's like, she's like, where's like, where's Slimer? Where's the other guys? She's like, I don't want to watch this. Put the go, put the good one on. <laughs> and I was like, uh, it's like, yeah, like you get, you get two, you get two slices of cake tonight. <laughs> yeah, I see she knows. She knows. Yeah. That's funny. What a shocker. Sami Zayn, new Intercontinental Champion. Shocker. We needed it, though. Like, we needed it. Like, uh, listen, like, I like Nakamura. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, man, he just be, like, he's just been, like, holding that title for hostage, son. Just uh, two, the title defenses were too sporadic. Like, one title defense every three months, you know? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. But uh, why don't we just jump right into it? Your number one source the news and information. It is Friday night. We are doing it right. Hanging out with the boys, making all kinds of noise. It's fake news. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Once again, we're kind of starting off fake news. Hell yeah. We have a few uh, new additions to the Princess Bride from McFarlane Toys. Bro, I'm into these. Like, uh, the the first wave, I was kind of like, all right, like, they're not bad. Like, they're not bad, but I, I don't need Princess Bride figures. But this second wave is really, like, pulling me in. You know what I'm saying? Well, this this yeah. one looks much bigger, uh, bigger or uh, better than the his previous one. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, you got Fezzik with the, with the cloak. So yeah. that's an the, extra, extra touch right there. Yeah, like, the, the cloak is, it's like a, 
it's like a it's like a minor change like it's just a cloak but i don't know it just it just adds so much more to that figure it does so you got that well the this says mega action figure mm -hmm. is this bigger than the previous one no, they should no, be the same size. The, yeah, the other one was a Mega, too. Okay. Plus, I think they got different head sculpts on these. Too. Yeah, they do. Then you also get... Hmm. Yeah. See, this, this too, because he didn't get a figure the first time around in the first series, but now he would kind of complete our team, so you would you would have kind of... You would kind of have that completed crew, you know? Inconceivable. I like how he yeah. comes with a little chalice or whatever the cup. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Those are some big arms. Yeah. You've been working out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. And then the other newest ones is that you get a, a bloody version of Inigo Montoya and Dread Pri Pirate Roberts. But then we also get a new buttercup. But see, like even the buttercup looks looks uh, miles better than the first one. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. I don't know, man. I think uh, I, I think I think McFarlane might have might have hooked me in. He he casted a line, and I, I bit it because I, I think I want these Princess Bride figures. So you were so you were you were so blinded by your hatred for Batman, and he snuck in Princess Bright on you. Yeah, to, yeah. To brought your defenses down. Now, now I, 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 I let I let my I let my guard down. Is he gonna do like a signature McFarlane series of this is how Batman would look if he was in the Princess Bride universe? <laughs> this is how Batman <laughs> would. <look. laughs> we 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 are we already have that the pirate. Oh yeah, <laughs> he is. He is the Bruce Wayne of that universe. Like you might have noticed, I, sne I secretly s snuck a bat emblem on his chest, but you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> how long? How long before we get a Batman Spawn amalgamation? Is you 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 know he's already working on that? Uh, very soon, and I will purchase. He, it. He is personally okay. molding that that clay. <laughs> You already know. But yeah, here we go. Princess Bride figures. So oh. <laughs> 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 like I don't know, like it's 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 Drake from the movie, but uh damn <laughs> that that uh <laughs> that face sculpt is so bad, son, I can't help it. <laughs> it's so bad. It looks like Arnie's new son. He's yeah, not the perfect man. Look at those granny <laughs> arms. He looks he like he's pure he is not pure genetic genius. He looks like he wants to sell me a timeshare, much less go on a quest for pirate treasure. And uh yeah, the the, the diaper is uh uh the di the diaper is too noticeable. I don't even know why they still use those kind of molds. For I I don't know. It, it's it just it looks really like uh, noticeable on this. I don't know. This is, this is like mid two thousand mold. Bro, he bro, he looks like Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, <laughs> he, he looks he looks like actually Shia LaBeouf. Cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, he really does actually. Okay, we'll get you a Sam Wiki. There you it's, go. It's, it's it's Shia LaBeouf cosplaying as Nathan Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I was gonna make a really dark joke. I'll I'll tell it later. Okay. <laughs> it's 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 a stab, at Shia. It's okay. okay. I love. Uh, I don't know. I mean, whatever. If listen, if you listen, like if you like the movie and you're like uh, salivating for a Uncharted movie uh drake figure then uh, there you go i guess for for all two people that wanted that uh diamond select <laughs> has has diamond select has bestowed bestowed it upon you 
You've been blessed. You've or, been or blessed. Part. Well, August of 2022 for 25 bucks. Bro, they need to pay me 25 bucks to take that. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. So we get... <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> we get Chublaka. Uh, Chublaka. Uh, the comic book version. Uh, oh shit, Wookie. He, he's 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 something. He's interesting. Chublaka. I don't I'm, know. I'm, I mean, I'm not very familiar with him from from the comics. Is I mean, is it this, really this, that different than? I mean, he's kind of he's he, he the, from from the way the comic would portray it. This figure is looking undersized. The fact the armor, like I get it, it's supposed to be on a hairy Wookie, but it just looks like it's on a small figure because this figure yeah. just just like a repaint of fucking like Chewbacca. They 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 yeah they they basically uh, they basically just straight up repainted. Uh, oh, I see Chewbacca. You know. All right, I'm not mad at the figure. I, I am happy that we're getting uh, we we are getting a black black chrysanth chrysanthemum this early after the book of Boba, and I I understand that yeah of course of course they're gonna repaint Chewbacca. Why wouldn't they? I understand that, and they gave him a new face, and I'm okay with it. And the armor doesn't look right. I could overlook all of that if they would have given him a better selection of weapons just to just to to just be getting a bow caster because that's what came with chewy like they couldn't even take the time to they they couldn't even take the time to sculpt him a new weapon or give him like a like a better weapon or something that he's more primarily known for using it, it just feels like they they went really lazy with this figure and they put no effort into it because they're like, okay, we got to just get him out as fast as we can. While he's still relevant. Uh, to the show. Yeah. Like, like, see, like, this is why Hasbro, Hasbro, pay attention. This is why the Rancor did not get funded because you keep cutting corners like this and you keep doing just lazy repaints and people don't want it. Stop cutting, Prince. stop cutting so much corners all the time. Damn! Why didn't you just show Michael Prince? Why Why didn't you just give us a better fucking figure? Stop cutting corners. So the image of him on the box—that's him from the comics, right? That's uh, the, abs the comics. absolutely, yeah. Okay, oh, then yeah, they 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 effed up. They, they, he, he should have been like a mega deluxe or whatever they <laughs> like. Yeah, like look how look, like, look how big this looks. Yeah, to what, yeah. They, what they're offering you. Like he's fought Chewbacca in the comics. Like they had a fist fight. And he should be, he should be like bigger than Chewbacca. A again, it's a, it's a very lazy repaint. It's a new character. I'm always happy to be getting a new character, so I'm still gonna pick it up. But it just, it just feels like they could have taken the time and put in some effort and gave us a really nice Chewbacca. But instead, they're just like, let's just make a lazy repaint and people will just take it. Like I said, this is why your Rancor did not get funded. Because you keep giving people shit and just expecting them to eat it. But people are like, don't want it anymore. That's why, that's why, you're, that's why the Rancor didn't get funded. Because people, wow. people were like, no, nah, this figure's not right. And they knew it wasn't right. And this figure is also not right. February 2023, $29. Chublaka. Chublaka. Amazon. This is exclusive to Amazon, right? Yeah, so this is uh, exclusive to Amazon. This is uh, the brand new Cad Bane. This is the, the Bad Badge version of Cad Bane. So, you know, if you're, if you're about it like that then, uh, you know, you can kind of get yourself a Bad Batch Cad Bane, but... Looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, he's wearing chaps. Yeah. Look at him. Go. 
Chubby Chap Chaps. I wish I had some chaps. Chubby Chap Chaps. Chub, chub. And again, it's a perfect time to be uh, getting more Cad Bane because he's, he's, he's very relevant right now. So hot right now, Cad Bane. Mm-hmm. In the box, out the box, flexing. He's about to pull up. He's about Ooh. to pull up on you. No, he's about to pull up his chaps. So the mouth up. I'm about to. Like these are set hard. Let me pull these up. I'm about to put a hole in a motherfucker. And then we'll talk. Make sure you have your armor. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, what's the price on this? Uh, what are they asking for? Where's the mm-hmm. shit? I don't see no price. I don't see I never price. Seven yeah, dollars for this. Yeah, it'll probably be standard uh, Black Series pricing. Well, Amazon. That's where you got to get it from. So there you go. Get your cad. Bidding. So, this kind of uh, exciting playmates actually doing something uh, collectors could be interested in. Getting the last Ronin. Um, I will say uh, NECA kind of took the steam out of this figure a lot for me because they revealed they're doing a last Ronin. But I don't know if you kind of like playmates. There you go. You can you can you can get it. it. Comes with some good accessories. If you're into that storyline, this is a character you want. Then uh, there you go. This one might come out before the NECA one, so who knows? Mm-hmm. Poor playmates. <laughs> you know. Did I? Did you know they are making a Elvis movie now? I did not know that. Yeah, they are. Uh, I actually saw the trailer. It looks uh, pretty decent. It's got Tom Hanks in it. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Like you said, I'm glad they're actually doing something collector friendly. Uh, yeah, it's, it it seems like uh, and Playmates has the master license for Ninja Turtles, and it seems like they're always just so focused on giving us a uh, very like kid centric stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, it's nice to see them kind of doing something more like collector oriented. You know, mm-hmm. it's like a it's like a step in the right direction for them. Yeah, it's decent. We'll set you back thirty bones, October of twenty twenty two. There you go. All right, so from Diamond Select, I guess we're getting a, a classic comic vision. It looks all right. I mean, uh, I don't really have any complaints about it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need this classic vision, no doubt. I mean, it looks good. I mean, compared to the Marvel Legends one, definitely looks like there's a lot more detail to it. Yeah. Uh, and this is a this is a case where this this might lend itself well to Diamond Select because Vision is not traditionally a character that's known for doing a lot of uh, dynamic posing or mm-hmm. you know so uh, to to have a Vision figure that's not overly articulated but looks really really nice is not is not uh, is not so bad to me because like I said Vision's not known for being very dynamic or very athletic. Yeah, he just he just kind of floats around and shoots eye lasers. So I, I appreciate that the sculpt is really good here, and this is as classic of a vision as you can get outside of the white one. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go in on this. Oh, you know they're gonna repaint this to do into a white one as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They'd be they'd be foolish not to. For real though. Uh, Thirty bucks, August twenty twenty two. 
Wah, wah, wah. Super seven. All right. This this one this one uh, I'm very excited for. We're getting the Ulta Ultimate Papa Emeritus two. Uh, I I kind of skipped the first one. I didn't get the first one, but uh, which which is still available. But I actually think this one looks better. I like the the staff that he comes with. I like the black the black cloak more than the red. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm definitely going in on this. So this is uh this is like the the second lead singer. Like I think this is the younger brother of the first lead singer. So this is like Papa Emeritus two. Hmm. Yeah, I think it looks great. Wait, is this two figures in? Oh no, you put it on him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna be getting this. I think I said I was gonna get the first one, and I never did. But I'll, I'll tell you that uh, I regretted not getting it. Yeah. And then I just, and then I, I just never got around to it. You know, you know. Sometimes you want to get something, but you just never get around to buying it. You mean like a Kickstarter spawn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> This one looks quite nice, so I'm, 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 I think I'm going to go in on this one. Yeah, it looks good. I would like yeah. to see. I would like to see Super Seven do like more, like heavy metal, like icons, like that. That's something where from Super Seven, I would really sink my teeth into. Like, if Super Seven did like Kiss, like holy oh, fuck, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Actually. Bruh, take all of my money. They might. I can, see them doing kiss. I can see them doing kiss. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Taking all the money. Go, Gojira, Gojira says Metallica four pack. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'd be in on that. Metallica four pack. Mm -hmm. You got to pay me first. got to pay Lars. He says, imagine a Slipknot pack, nine members. Jeez. Slipknot is one of my all-time favorite bands. Uh, if, 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 they, if they did Slipknot figures, I would buy multiples of each. <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot. Yeah. That's how much I, I love Slipknot a lot. Oh, man. It's like I like my Slipknot. I... <clears throat> Whoa. Before you forget, it's going to be $55 coming out of February of 2023. In the world before I am a man, I was a creature before uh -huh. I could stand. Uh -huh. Could remember before I forget. Uh, it's great. It's great just, we just got copyright claim from my slip not <laughs> yeah. Nah, they're, they're they're too they're too chill to start dishing out copyright claims. You you gotta record that as a cover and play it at the beginning of every show. <laughs> uh, next we have from Plex Art Spirits. We have some Godzilla versus Kong Hyper Modeling Series exclusive box of four figures. Hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. Look okay. Yeah. I bet these are super small though, right? Mm. Yeah, about like three inches a piece. Three or four, yeah. Okay. But the car, the car looks nice. Looks decent. That car looks dope. Yeah. That's a lot of detail for such little uh, statues. For show. I like I like that like he's supposed to be like like if you look where the flight stand is, it's almost like he's gripping it with his butt cheeks. <laughs> with his buttocks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for nice. <laughs> You're that welcome. Was, that was thank necessary. you for thank you for the visual. <laughs> 
Like, did you ever what, see that? What, what do you do without you, man? <laughs> did you ever see that Tarzan meme where he's swinging and he's holding Jane? And it's like, how is this possible? And then it shows him from behind and he's swinging, like, with his butt cheeks. That's what that makes me <laughs> <laughs> That's... that's... <laughs> That's what that makes me think of. Uh, I, I think Joker 2 is still in the making, as far as I know. I don't like these visuals. <laughs> uh, as, a, as, a, as a co-president of the Sanctuary, I, I vote your termination. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Thanks, thanks, got, thanks, for, thanks for having me, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We have this mecha Godzilla. What do you think of this, Jimmy? Oh, uh, it's it's great. You know, look at him. Look how pretty he is. It, it is it's nice. Yeah. It's, it's it's so full and handcrafted and robust. Oh, very robust. It's just very robust. Reminds me of it's the just, posture of a lizard. Yes. It is, man. It is the Matrix. The Matrix got him. I think so. Hold on. Let's see if we can jack him back in. Uh, there yeah, you go. There he is. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> been summer. Yeah. So here you go. You got the set of four. It's going to set you back a hondo. Which, I mean, for a little, like, four-inch figures that aren't even articulated, that's, that's a nice little piece of the pocket change right there. That seems, that, seems, uh, that seems a little steep. Yeah. Yeah. If 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 these were larger or more articulated, like one or the other, it wouldn't be too, quite so bad. But the fact that these are so small and also not articulated. This is hyper modeling series. Do you have to put these together yourself? I don't know. Doesn't doesn't I don't think it specifies any like assembly. I just think that's just like the model series of the oh. statue, I guess, or oh. whatever. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's let's move on. Now. Uh, so this is this is uh, I don't know which version of War Machine this is. Is this like uh, like this isn't from the comics, right? Like this is like uh. This is like an original like version, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Like this is someone someone's imagination of, of War Machine. But it, it still look, looks pretty badass. It mm -hmm. looks good. It looks it looks uh it looks like an anime inspired war machine. Yeah. But uh yeah, claws. I think it looks it's got claws, got the he's got the rocket launcher. I, I think it I think it looks good. Uh is this a model kit or is this a figure? I think this is a model kit, right? No, it's a figure. Yeah, it's a, it's by Sentinel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it looks good if you if you want like an anime style war machine. Yeah. He's got a Predator cannon on his shoulder. Mm. So he's ready to blow someone's uh, back of their skull off. So you know, that's not bad. That's a that's a thing you could probably do with it. Inflict a lot of damage. Lot yeah, it looks damage. It looks nice. Like I'm not gonna get it, but I can appreciate that it looks decent. He has a funny mouth. There's accessories. You get flight stand. You got some hands. Uh, SH Monster at Cloverfield. I I, I might pick that up. Uh, I, I, I might I might pick that up. Uh, Michael Prince. I, I would 100 percent pick that up. I, I've been waiting a long time. Yeah, like uh, Cloverfield is like one of those properties that's never really had figures. So it it had one when it was oh, okay. yeah. uh, but now it goes for thousands. It's yeah, crazy. there you go. You know, so well, one machine here is going to set you back a Hondo. It's going to set you back a Hondo. Hondo buddy. October twenty twenty two. Okay, so again from Sentinel, uh, this is also an original design. I'm getting Black Panther, and th this one actually looks really, really nice. Uh, 
It's like a, like an Iron Man style. Yeah. Iron Man slash Black Panther. Yeah. See, this one's a little bit tempting for me. I, I'm probably not going to get it, but I just think it looks so damn cool. Ooh, it comes with a staff. Staff. Very articulated to see. Look at that rocker. Look at that, look at that lean. Oh, man. Look at that lean. Oh, I wish I had that lean. Accessories with staff, get some hands. Bro, I just I just Googled that. I just Googled that Cloverfield uh figure on eBay. Uh huh. Son, son, you weren't you weren't you weren't lying. Look at uh look at this price. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't exactly uh, <laughs> I was under <laughs> Bro, it's Fuck it's, it's a Looks it good. was a uh, it was a fucking uh, it's an auction too. <laughs> should, should, <laughs> should I place a bid? <laughs> yeah, it looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks nice. Go it, with it looks that nice. same price. Go with that same price and add twenty five cents. <laughs> I, I I actually I wouldn't I wouldn't even have to because there's not even any bids on it right now. <laughs> like, like, Buy now. Fifty thousand dollars. Oh, That's son. Great. All right. Well, this Black Panther won't set you back $50,000, but it will set you back $105. Uh, Mike, Michael Prince, I, I'll tell you, uh, I'm not super overly familiar with X Plus, but as long as it's not $50,000, then we could definitely, I would definitely consider it. Uh, I don't mean to get off on a tangent, but I, I would. Yes, you do. I, I, I would. That would be like the one X plus figure I think I would get. I, th I think I would go in on that, unless uh, it's like ridiculously overpriced. But a Cloverfield like fifty thousand dollars overpriced. Yes. Yeah. Would you go in on it if it was forty eight thousand? Yes. That's, that's more reasonable. That's reasonable. That's Re reasonable. What reasonable? Yeah. <laughs> I money. What, what a value! I'm very fiscal. What a value! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. All right. Moving on, we've got uh, from Super 7, we have the worst ultimate wave of set of two figures. Uh, Matt informed me this is some original, I guess, from Super 7. Yeah, so this is their uh, this is their original IP. They did a they did a first wave. It was like a rabbit, Dracula, and some kind of like some kind of suave pirate. Uh, so this is this is wave two. Uh, like, listen. Skeleton man looks cool. Yeah, that, that really does. This this is always my this is always my problem with Super Seven is their figures are are nice, but they're just too expensive. Uh, yeah, we got the Robo Reaper here. That's cool. Oh, that is so cool. Reaper. And also, uh, also, un unfortunately, that uh, I again, like forty-five bucks or fifty bucks is a lot for an original IP. Much less like where it's like Thundercats or like Silverhawks, but this is like an original IP. So you just got to be like a straight-up fan of Super Seven to kind of go in on these. Look, like you said, if they were a little bit cheaper, I would probably buy some of these. Absolutely, uh, because they they charge you they they charge you a bit above like a domestic price, and but it's below like a Mezco and an import. But the the quality is is not much better than like Mattel or Hasbro. But the the price is like roughly double. Yeah. So that kind of keeps me away, but they look nice. I can't appreciate that they look nice. If I was gonna get one, it would be the, it would be the 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 knight, not the this guy. Hmm. This guy looks sus to me. Robo Reaper. Robo Reaper. I like this one too. It looks badass. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, like if I was gonna get one, it would. That's probably the the one I would get. Looks like the Draugers or the Draugers from Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. 
Now, these are individually sold, but if you want to get them both, it's going to set you back a buck ten. February of 2023. So you got some time to think about it in case you change your mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm kind of excited for this, actually, because I don't know if they if this was planned or if this was just a happy coincidence, but coming off of the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure, we're getting a larger, possibly better articulated, better sculpted grizzly bear. I, I think this is nice. So if you... If you skipped on, uh, did I did I ever see Repo the Genetic Opera? Uh, off the top of my head, it's not ringing any bells. But uh, may- maybe I maybe I did. But if you missed the Ursa Major build a figure, I would suggest don't even bother trying to get it. I would suggest go and uh, go and get this because, yeah, this yeah, is like this much is, is bigger. Pretty... Yeah, you get some nice accessories. Like I said, the articulation is probably better. If you're kind of building your uh, winter guard and you miss that build a figure, yeah, hell yeah, go and get this. Go and get you this. The bear man, look at that mass. It's a giant bear mass. That's yeah. Eat your face off. Oh, you know what else you could do with this? If you're if you're going in on those uh, Tekken figures from. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I know, if you I know what you're talking about. If you're going in on those Tekken figures from uh, Storm, you know, you could you could kind of you could kind of use that as a stand-in for Akuma. Yeah, he, he not not uh, not not Akuma uh a Akuma. Or if you're really weird like me, you can if if you're like the type of guy who's like you know, I really want a shelf of Jungle Book, only if it's a horror movie. You could just buy this. It can be Baloo. Oh, a killer Baloo. Hold on, hold on. Baloo. Hold on. Killer. That could be, that could be Baloo. <laughs> a, n- a nightmare version of Baloo. Yeah. Who well, else? Who else could this be? Smoke, Smokey the Bear. This could be Killer Smokey the Bear. This could be a murderous yogi. Hey, Babu. Hey, Babu. I'm going to rip some their mat- heads off and then eat out their picnic baskets. And I'll oh. drink from their neck. Drink the blood up from now from their necks. And <laughs> their insides. Well, this murderous creature set you back a buck ten. Fourth quarter of 2022. Right <laughs> now. Oh, all right. So from the Bumblebee movie, I guess this is the Earth Mode version, though. We're getting a statue of Optimus Prime from, I guess this is by Yolo Park. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know who came up with the name. But... That's, that's, a, that's an epic name. And my bad. This isn't a sta- statue. This is a model kit, I meant to say. This uh from The Last Night? No, no, this is from uh, End of Bumblebee, I think. Oh. Yeah. His Earth it's mode. The, it's, the, it's, the, it's the decent looking Prime. Yeah. Okay. This is how Prime should look in the movies, basically. Like, it looks nice. He's complicated, but he looks like him. Perfect. I mean, uh, I'm not going to get it, but no, I, it I'm looks not- good. I like that. Uh, I like that big axe that he's kind of like swinging around. Oh, it just needs to be orange. Uh, Optimus Prime about to take no prisoners. <laughs> Dude, Prime in the last two movies, he was like a freaking maniac. Yeah, he's like a killing machine. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Now he has a giant axe. <laughs> yeah, like uh, was it? Uh... Was it Age of Extinction where, like, like lockdown, like, he just ripped his face in half or something? He cut his body in half from the face face down. Yeah, there he had you go. so many other ways to kill him. Than he thought. But he's like, he's like, let me let me send a message. <laughs> to who? <laughs> to, to, to anyone who's paying attention. You see. 
You see, you see that, you see that Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> you see that Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> oh wait, of... oh wait, he wasn't in that movie. Never mind. No, to any motherfucker Mark... that gets in my way. Mark Wahlberg. You see, you see that Bumblebee. You want to be, you want to be the poster boy for Transformers now. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. You can open up his chest. That's nice. Is that that's... where he keeps the, the heads of his victims? <laughs> that's where he keeps two <laughs> half of <the> podcast head. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the Matrix of Leadership forms. He, he puts together his head. <laughs> the, the, ma- the Matrix of Murder Ship. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha Trion didn't intend this. <laughs> Such blasphemy over here. <laughs> Iron Man pose. And he has his faceplate as he always should. Not yes. that stupid human mouth BS. No lips. But, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Matrix of Leadership, though, that wasn't even shown in the movie, right? Like, they just did that for the figure? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, Matt, you don't want this because you just don't want to have to put it together because you don't want to do a model kit. Uh, Incorrect. In my, my wife puts all my model kits together, and she would love to put this together. <laughs> oh, <for you>? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's pretty. Very pretty. Oh, not so much anymore. Pretty expensive. <laughs> nah, that's a lot. Yeah. Bro, 200, 210 bucks, and I got to put it to, together for that price. It better put me together emotionally <laughs> after, after, after I have a breakdown. <laughs> like, what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, I need him to counsel me. I need him to counsel me. <laughs> Emotional damage. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, that that is pretty expensive, bro. Yeah, for a model kit, yeah. Listen, uh, it ain't gonna get any cheaper from here, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, this is this is this is for, this, this fake news is gonna be for high rollers only, so poor people will get out. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's just the two of us again. Always walking out on us. Abandonment issues. Emotional damage. <laughs> Don't leave us, Matt. Why would, would don't ever leave us again, please? All right, I promise. Stay with us. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right. Uh, so th- okay. So this is last night. Uh, I don't like this look of Optimus. Uh, yeah, I, I have I, I have really nothing positive to say here. Trump three zero. So they 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 make decent figures. I think quality wise, it might be good. I, I sometimes forget that there are people that that like the movies and that's fine and if you like the movies there you go this figure might be right up your alley uh i'm like a g1 guy though so for for me the more you move away from g1 the the less my interest is there and this this doesn't even look like any kind of form of optimus prime it doesn't resemble any transformer period like that's the problem yeah it just looks like knight armor on a person, literally. Yeah. But if you if you like this movie and you like this version of Prime, there you go. I right, scratch that. Nobody likes that movie. If you like this version of Prime, there you go. Yes. <laughs> Bumblebee. Do you, do you remember when he was Nemesis Prime for five minutes? Yes. Yeah. And he had a stripe on his face. That's how you knew. (laughs) (laughs) 
quality yes. content. <laughs> so it looks good. Like, like you know, three zero does good. They do good stuff and. This is a larger figure. Like I don't think it's just six scale. Like it's probably fourteen, fifteen inches tall. The transformer stuff is usually pretty. Uh, uh, so, that's about, oh about no! Him. Oh wow! I guess they scaled it down then. Never mind. But he's gonna set you back. Ooh. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot of emotional mm -hmm. damage. Yeah. That's a lot of emotional damage. On your wallet. <laughs> yeah, my, my wallet is going to be emotionally damaged. <laughs> Fourth quarter of 2022. Moving on. For you sword lovers out there. Gojira. Yep. Got the Lord of the Rings Sword of the Witch King. Oh. Go Gojira just. And this, I think this is this is this is like full life size. And no, 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 no bullshit pussy stuff. Like, like if you if you want to kill somebody, at least do it with style. Mm -hmm. You know, five flare. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure the edges are dull, but if you know how to sharpen a blade, you can fix that in a jiffy. And I know OG I... know how to do that. Bro, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I swear to God, I'm I'm going to Gojira's house. Me too. I'll eat his food. Gojira, Gojira, gonna protect me from the the zombies. I'll be in the pantry. Yeah. Motherfucker, y'all better start swinging some blades. <laughs> Wait, like Jimmy, you better come to listen. If you 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 cross country, if I don't see you walking out of a rubble. With like a fucking man-sized beard and long hair, pushing Wolverine blades on your hands, I'll send you packing. <laughs> tell you to go right the fuck back, sir. You know, not Jimmy, Jimmy Lee. Get the fuck out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Scrub. If, I, if I have blades, does that make me immune to the zombie virus? Yes. Bro, you should be. You should. You should come out. You, you are like the man without fear. You just run reckless with your Wolverine claws. <laughs> It just be slicing and dicing. This is like some universe, Jimmy, where I'm brave. I would run. Like, like fuck this shit. You gonna be like superhuman? <laughs> fuck this shit. <laughs> but yeah, here you go. Sword. There you go. Go, Gojira. Gojira says you're gonna take care of us. He's got a whole armory. The sword is gonna set you back. Four thirty with the sixty four fifty deposit. Oh. In case you change your mind. Oh my god. March of twenty twenty two. So there you go. Swords. Hell yeah, son. We got some merman. merman. Uh, I love I love me some merman. Uh, this is statue. It looks. Good though, if I collected statues, uh, like head. I'd 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 buy uh, I'd I'd be all in on that. Yeah, you get it's nice. You get two heads. You get the you get the Lords of Power head, and you get the mini comic head. So you can go either way. Yeah, this looks great. This one, he looks, this one looks like a gremlin, though. Yeah. yeah, it does look a bit like a gremlin. Gremlin yeah, it looks good. Predator hybrid. A uh, predator <laughs> fucked a gremlin. There you go. <laughs> who, uh, who, who doesn't love mermaid? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's such an odd image. <laughs> what? A predator fucked a gremlin. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> hey, stranger things have happened. Or, God, we're talking about maybe, merman. Maybe, <laughs> well, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe the gremlin fucked the predator. That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. Talking, we're, they are. We're, 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 we're talking about merman. Merman. Uh. Merman. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about merman here. Uh, yeah, guys, right, get back on, get back on tracks. So I'm sorry, I derailed. <laughs> All right, let's move on from this photo. 
It's too distracted. I'm going to come right back to it. All right, let's get to the band. I mean, yeah, it looks good. It's a decent yeah. depiction of the character. It would be nice to have a, like, a, an actual figure that looked like that, like with some articulation. Well, the, I think the Mondo one was pretty close to that. Yeah. Mando. But this is gonna set you back. Mm. That's that's nothing for Merman. Listen, that's set a lot of mosquitoes. I don't know. Set you back. Uh, that is a, that is a good um, uh, that is a good amount of mosquitoes. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, Michael Prince, what pictures are you trying to send, my friend? That's the real question. Because <laughs> I mean, if they're if they're if they're at least if they're age appropriate, you can always join our Facebook group and uh, post figures or your collections or things like that or memes, as long as you know they're they're Zuckerberg approved. Because you want to get you want you want to get hit with the Zuck. Mm. Otherwise, zuck you all. Get hit with the zuck, get get tucked, and good night. Say bye bye. <laughs> all right. You see the price. All right, like I said, it ain't getting any cheaper from here, ladies and gentlemen. It just keeps balling for you, for you, for you broke bitches. Get out of here. Get out of here, you weak sauce. No, have an ass. Because we kicking it up a notch. Uh, no, my. This is uh, from Toy Toy Laxy. It's like a toy laxative? Is, is that the Flash chasing Reverse Flash? No, it's Iron Man. Oh. Yeah, it's like an armory with apparently, what is that, Hulkbusters? Whoa, hold on now. Why does he look like an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Why does he look like an idiot? <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's the politically correct term. Why does he look unwell? <laughs> what? <laughs> This is from a distance. Uh, this is all right. Uh, <laughs> it's just like it's just like you said. Why does he look like an idiot? And then you doubled down with why does he look unwell? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You get the helmet on. Well, it doesn't help. Oh shit! Who the fuck wants to spend a thousand dollars on this? <laughs> Somebody, I guess, that wants a stocky Iron Man and his armor of armor figures. I mean, you get three Iron Man armors with stocky figures and like an Infinity Gauntlet and a busted helmet and this whole shit busy baz and, and his face right there. Oh, God, Jesus. There's a stand for the face? Yes, to hold it in place when you're not using his iron mural. Yeah, because I definitely want that visible at all times. Or you want it all the time, Jimmy. You're an Iron Man fan. This is made for you, Jimmy. You should, you should buy this. Made for idiots. You should buy this because... <laughs> So funny there. <laughs> yeah, I just remember what you said. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I I don't think I was being offensive. No, nah, I don't think you was either, but the way you said it. it <laughs> <laughs> just speaking my mind. I'm a very honest person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Uh, the son of a bitch. You gonna set you back? You see it? Get your money. Get your money right. 
peasants. I mean, I'm I'm short forty nine dollars. Can can you can you cover me? I only got the grand. Uh, I got nine. I got ninety nine cents. If y'all want to go in. Oh okay. I don't do business with broke bitches. Ah! <laughs> I let you keep the unmasked head. If you want it. Uh, sorry, you can keep that. I don't want that. Let's okay. move on. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, it really gets uh, significantly more. Listen, uh, did you ever want to feel like uh, like you were the IWGP Intercontinental Champion? Well, now you can with this uh, very expensive replica. Is that what it says? I thought it said liver for a second. Did you want to think you were Shinsuke Nakamura or Tensei Yonado, Naito or... Switchblade Jay White. Now or Chris note. or Chris or Chris Jericho. Or Chris Jericho, the or MVP. Maker. Or MVP. MVP and the list on and on. Or Kota Ibushi. Now you can be a champion with the IWGP Intercontinental Championship. Mm. Oh, we forgot about Evil. Evil. But yeah, they reminded us though. That evil, there you go. Evil. Um, yeah, it looks it looks yeah. nice. Uh, this is uh, this a little much for a, a replica. Measurements are right here. So made a die cast in leather, so it's gonna have some weight on it. Ooh. Just judging off the look of the plates, these is looking about at least four millimeters. So you're looking at a very thick piece of metal here. I thought it said liver on the front. Oh, liver? With this big <laughs> letter in here? You mean, you mean the IWGP? I thought it said liver for a second. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm colorblind. I don't know. Well, and lots of colors are together. It's confusing. But, uh, you see the price on this bad boy. It's... Now, okay, uh, let's move on from this one because then we get the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, Ooh. which again, it looks good. Ago doesn't look like it's dual plated, but it's like I said, it's very thick. It's it's definitely uh, kind of bumped out, so it's got levels to it. Looks good. <laughs> But, you know, you get a tip. What happened? I'm sorry. What's funny, man? Um, no, we're, we're good. No, no, we're good. We're good. I'll, tell, I'll tell you after. Oh, you're crazy. Now, you see the price. Wish I had. That's wild. Yeah, that's um, a lot. That's a lot, man. Uh, as a belt collector, don't I, I recommend, unless you got it like that, do not buy the belt. Like, look at this. Let me show you something. All right. The IW, a GP, a heavyweight championship. Ooh. I did not pay fucking $2,000 for this. I didn't even pay $1,000 for this. I paid about 400 for it. And that's, that's a good price for quality belt. It's on leather, strap. Look at that. No, no, no. No bumps, all that. It's all, it's all in there, baby. Got the tip. Now, mine's is not as a thick, but I got layers on mine. So, like, there's other parts of the belts. Do not buy this shit right here. You find yourself a good Facebook group and, and, and a kind man in Pakistan, and they'll hook you up. Go see my man, my team. But don't, don't, don't buy that. No, I won't do that. You can get yourself an IWGP. Shout out to my boy uh, Kevin for hooking me up with this one here. So, but yeah, you can you can be a champion. You ain't got to spend that kind of money. Don't don't do it to yourself. Don't do it. Take it from someone who collects belts. I, I it's, uh, I'm not only living that transformer life. I live. When we sit here talk about wrestling on Friday nights, like motherfucker, I I got the gold, baby. I got the gold. I got the gold. 
now, like, you know, just in case you thought I was bullshitting, son. I might not be the IWGP Intercontinental Champion, but I was the WWE Intercontinental Champion, bitch. Huh? Ah! It's like a dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Show it off. I'm jealous. What's a belt? Uh, Yeah, Big big Bad Toy Store. Uh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. This is, I, I don't, well, like, I get it, cause like the, here, here's the thing though. When it does, I will say this thing. When it does come to the IWGP stuff, most people who do make belts charge a little bit more for this design, especially if you want the whole kit and caboodle. But this, this is this is like either you, this is either you getting this from the actual people who make the belts for the company. That's what that is. Like two thousand? No, you buying that from actually you buying that from New Japan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like mm-hmm. you know, like you, you that that's almost like if you were to get a Reggie Parks, you you got it from Reggie Parks. Yeah, yeah. But that's ooh, ooh, shit, nah, bruh. Like even if I thought I had the money, I don't. I still like, oh, that's that's too much stuff though. This, this, you can get a good quality for for, for less than that. <clears throat> but again, big ups to BBTS for advertising that you know. Hey, if you wanted to buy wrestling belts, we sell some now, but they're fucking expensive shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, which is, uh, which is unfor- which is unfortunate because the, in the belt collecting world, the IWGP, this version right here is the, is the standard to collect. That's why I have one. No, no, all right. Re- realistically, just to try to put a positive spin, you get this. When, when is this supposed to drop? August of twenty twenty two. So you know, you you kind of pre order it. And it's a three three hundred and sixty dollar deposit then, in case you change your mind. But listen, if you're if you're balling like that, where you're considering a two thousand dollar belt, then uh, three hundred and sixty dollars in the grand scheme of things for a deposit, not that much. But yeah, that is that is a big hit if you if you decide to back out later. Especially August is not a lot of time, but you know you you pay the deposit now and then you know you just kind of save up. That's it. Yeah. But like I like I said, uh, that is a that is a big hit if you if you uh, if you back out. Yeah. So, but again, like shit, like even WWE, they make their replicas. They ain't charging this kind of money. Only for the specialty belts, they might bump up the price, but they ain't asking for like fucking two grand, over two grand for a fucking belt. But uh, it is what it is. And fucking to end the night, even though they were all overpriced, like I said, this is for the rich boys out there. This is for those rich fuck boys. What's going on, Tron? Thank you for joining us. Welcome. Last but not least, we have a overly priced statue. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whew. That's one big Hiddleston. He's trying to, he trying to, he trying to get, he trying to get them all might ranks. Yeah. Not quite there yet, though. But yeah, good looking bust, though. Right, real yeah. talk. It's it's spot on, Hiddleston on there on there. I kind of, I kind of think busts are stupid. Yeah, they have their place, I, but I, it, you, you, they're definitely for like, like if I see somebody have like a house full of busts, like I feel like yeah, you must be like balling. <laughs> Like that, you just have statues of people with no arms, just their upper torso, you know, and fucking face. Mm-hmm. Like this is wild right here. This, this this is a nice looking face. Look at that. He's looking into your soul. Looks uh looks like menacing though. Very menacing. Very they menacing. made it, they made it super realistic. Like look on on the right side the. The plate is not hitting his skin fully like the other one, mm-hmm. kind of like in the movie. That's crazy. It's like a little uneven. Oh, oh you know what? Yeah, I, I didn't even notice that, but yeah, yeah. good eye. Yeah. 
Yeah, good. That's, That's nice cool. attention to detail. But yeah, it looks it looks good. Decent decent looking Loki. That's a lot of detail. Oh. Yeah, like see, like I said, when you see like people got bust like sizes like this in their home, like are you balling? You're balling. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. But normally, if you buy a bus, the bus ain't small. You go, like I said, you go get some big shit. But looking like yeah. this, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is like uh, this is like where you've transcended to statues to now you're in like like uh, like busts. Like yeah, you got that you just, real like next you level. That, you got that all my money. Mm -hmm. All my was a all my was a bust. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so Loki uh, over there, he gonna set you back about four grand, eight hundred dollar deposit in case you change your mind. Again, yeah, you that's out, a fuck. you out you, you out eight Honda, you eating eight Honda. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, but all, all, that's, also the benefit here is this doesn't come out till third quarter twenty twenty three. So you have you have uh, over a year to save up for this. I don't even make that much in a year. <laughs> <laughs> like like if you like if for the rest of the year just don't buy like any other figures and you could afford this that's a miserable existence just eat, <laughs> yeah. eat, ra eat ramen noodle every day <laughs> that's it eat ramen noodle every day do you know what that'll do to my digestive system sir do you even know Listen, eventually you, your body will adapt after a little bit of time. Yeah, when spice I'm up, dead. Spice up the recipe a little bit. Don't use the flavor packs every day so your sodium levels will stay at a minimum. Hey, you know, get creative. Use vegetables. You know. By the time this like release, you need like intestinal replacement. You'll, you'll be good, and then you'll have that money for the Loki. And then after that, then you can die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <can die. laughs> do you ever do you ever feel like uh like i don't know i feel like i just wouldn't want to have that in my house no because this is not made for a house this is made for somebody who lives in a mansion that, yeah, like, okay. has a li Fair that literally has a hallway that you could like facilitate bust Fair <laughs> enough. Them. fair enough you know what i'm saying like you walk down the hallway like what if I got a bust of Loki in this hallway? What the fuck? Yeah. Like they don't even call it a like fucking like it's in the hallway. Like no, they call it the the it's the, the down the corridor. Like it's down the corridor. Like the fuck. It's <laughs> down the corridor. <laughs> like motherfucker, you balling. Like motherfucker, you shit that fuck that shit. But yeah, <laughs> that's gonna do it for me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, people. I'm just I crack myself up sometimes. Alright, so what we want to jump on to? We want to talk about uh predictions or uh let's do let's get peacemaker you know, out of the way. Because trailers is you know last and all that. Let, let, yeah, let's let's get peacemaker out of the way. Oh uh, yeah, so okay, let's uh let's talk about it. What 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 do you uh, guys think of it? Re really really quick, uh it, it, it's over. I just want to point out that we are gonna we are gonna fully uh, spoil this. So if you have yet to finish Peacemaker, then this is kind of your spoiler warning. Um, spoiler alert. I thought it was just okay overall. Like if overall, I thought it was just okay. I didn't think it was uh, anything special, but despite having a little bit of a rocky start. I found uh, the more I kind of got into it, the more I kind of liked it. But yeah, it was like I said, it it, <clears throat> it was kind of a slow crawl in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then like midway, it kind of picked up. I think definitely MVP character is Vigilante. I I thought. Uh... I'm, I'm, I kind of have mixed feelings about Vigilante. I thought 
I thought he, I, I found him to be uh, obnoxious and just painfully annoying. Well, yes, yes, that's what he kind of was supposed to be. Was obnoxious yeah. and, and painfully annoying. But those are not endearing qualities. So it's if if their goal was for me to dislike that character, then mission accomplished. I he was. Um, I think the point of his character was like to compete with like a like a Deadpool personality, which works sometimes, but sometimes it didn't. I agree. I, I just I just thought uh, it's hard to explain. I, I just thought at, at most times he was a little too over the top. Yeah, he, he, yeah, there were moments where, like, like you said, they kind of wanted him to be a Deadpool, but then at the same time, he's clearly like he he's got low self esteem that he clings to Peacemaker's character. Uh, like you know, you 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 know, we're best friends, but it's like peacemaker could give a fuck whether you're there or not. But yeah, he does enjoy blowing shit up with you, though. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like he, you know, he he did have his uh, he did have mm. his defining moments overall, but there was just a there, there was a couple instances where. I just thought, like, oh, okay, like, fuck off with this guy already. I mean, he, like I said, it, it, it's his character is kind of all like wild cardish, but it was just nice, like, oh, okay, at least he can actually kick ass. Like, he wasn't useless. See, yeah, that, you know that's where. Saying? See, yeah, like that's where I'm on board. Like, that's what I liked is he was actually overall he was actually like badass. Like he, like you said, he actually. He actually uh, kicked some ass. He was actually pretty good, but it's just uh, for for every moment where he was like badass, and I was like, "Yeah, this is cool." And it was then like, it wasn't like he was like, "Oh my bad." Um, well, I was just yeah, say yeah. like then 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 right after he does something annoying, and I'm like, "Oh fuck off." Yeah, like because yeah. it would have sucked if like he was just like, "Oh, he gets shit done," kind of almost accidental. It's like, nah, he, he's a badass dude. He can hold his own. But he's like he's also just kind of a fucked up character, like personality wise. Yeah, like he's like you know just kind of a fucked up character. But it's like yeah, but at least like look at he can get the job done. He can he can he can fight. He can he can use a weapon. He he's not afraid to get into the fight. Like he wasn't a pussy or nothing. Like yeah, he looked like a like a nerd or dork or nothing. But like he'd be the first motherfucker to throw hands though. Yeah. Do you guys do you guys feel the tone of Peacemaker, like uh, specifically the character, like it felt very tonally different than he was in the Suicide Squad movie itself. Did you guys find like watching watching the show? I kind of like like it, it was it's kind it was almost hard for me to fathom that like man like this. This was the same peacemaker that killed Rick Flag, or like this is the same peacemaker that was about to shoot Ratcatcher in the face and and murder her in like cold blood. You know what I mean? Like the the character in the show felt like such a so, so tonally different from this. Like in this, he felt a lot more like lighthearted <clears throat> and uh, comical, whereas in the movie, he felt. Uh, more, more, more gritty, like more. Uh, well, that's because he was back then. He was more like, aggressive, following, following uh, Waller's orders. Like, like, like in Suicide Squad, it's it's like a peacemaker personality where he would do anything for his country. And here they kind of move away from that a little bit. Like it's there, like the theme of peace or whatever. But yeah, he's not as gritty. I agree. I also, agree. let's not forget, like. He starts the, the the show off of waking up in the bed because he, he almost got died because he got shot in the goddamn neck. So yeah. you know you're you're coming back from the brink of death, and you know you come back and you're like you said your, your your pops is a piece of shit. He's a he's a literal hate monger. Yeah. Uh, you know the the reputation that you claim you're doing the, you're good for it's. Is is also kind of racist and backwards in itself. <laughs> I, I mean, I get it. Like, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not mad at it, but 
it's it's because I watched that movie recently. Kind kind of kind of go back and watch that movie very close to when you watch the show, and it just feels like. Uh, Not 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 uh, completely different, but it just feels a, it just feels like a little bit like uh, like the tone has has shifted dramatically. Like the the peacemaker that we get in the Suicide Squad movie doesn't strike me as someone that goes around hugging birds. <laughs> but that's that, mas- but that's his mascot, though. I know, but then <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Like him. like it, in the show, he's much more simple and lighthearted. But in the movie, he's a lot more of like a he's a lot more like ruthless. Like like remember too, like he was about to he was about to shoot that secretary, and she didn't even do nothing. It's a small observation. Uh, didn't care for the villains, per se. Yeah. I I, yeah, I always the, I always the am butterflies. not a. I'm always not a fan of when we get a superhero show, and the villain is not a supervillain. Yeah. Like a, of the entire library, of the entire cast of DC characters, like could they not, uh, could they not have picked like an actual DC villain and found a way to kind of work it out instead of just being a, a giant caterpillar? The butterfly well, cap. Well, let's 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 talk about the 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 the, the real kind of standout moment for this final episode. And I guess it pays to now everybody's being owned by the big studios that you got the money to do shit like this now. <clears throat> we get a slight appearance from the after you know the Justice League after all the name dropping and jokes and uh, Peacemaker just talking shit about all the superheroes, especially Aquaman, fucking fish, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They show up now. We don't get Wonder Woman. We just get a, sh- a shadowy figure of Wonder Woman. Same. And we don't yes. get Superman. We get a shadowy figure of Superman. Yeah, like, we, do like get... we, we don't get uh, Henry Cavill and Gail Gadot. Yeah. No, but we do get Momoa, Aquaman, and, and um, what, what's the name? Uh, what's the dude's name? Ezra Miller. E- e- yeah. Yeah, Ezra Miller's uh, Flash, which was cool. But I, I, I like. I, I thought it was funny though. Like fucking peacemakers, it's like you're fucking, you're fucking late. You're fucking late. Go yeah, fucking it was good or whatever. It was. Uh, it was unfortunate that uh, people people were already kind of posting that first thing in the morning, uh, yeah. which is just come on, people, be 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 better, be better. Don't spoil it so quickly. Yeah. So did you guys know that uh, that scene was filmed? On on the set of Guardians of the Galaxy three. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. You what you got, I guess, right? And uh, I was kind of tell I was kind of saying this to you, Jimmy, before. But apparently, that scene is supposed to take place after the Flash movie because I know a lot of people were like, "How come Batman wasn't there?" But it's supposed to take place after the Flash movie, so maybe. Maybe the Flash movie sets up a new Batman. But doesn't the Flash still have his old outfit in that scene? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he'll go back to it. He was kind of rocking the old outfit in that scene in Peacemaker. Maybe he'll kind of go back to it. I'm I'm just telling you what... uh, what's What's the director? What's his name? Sean Gunn? No. No, James Gunn? James Gunn. That's what he said. So okay. Well, like he told Aquaman, go fuck another, go fuck another fish. <laughs> go funny. fuck another fish, you fucking freaky said. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that was like a that was like a nice little scene because you always it always makes you wonder like when you see these like uh, movies where or TV shows where it's just one character but the world's in danger, and you're like, where's everybody else? Well, now they showed up finally. It was like a, it was like a nice little scene. Fuck it, I did the job where he killed the cow. <laughs> Shot another person into it. <laughs> that was <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
just like, man. I mean, uh, listen, uh, overall, it, it wasn't the, the worst thing I've seen. As no, definitely as, like, not. As far as, like, kind of DC's kind of jump into, like, a extended universe TV series the way, like, you know, Disney's doing their shit with Marvel, it wasn't it wasn't bad. Like I said, they put it on the right network. You put it on the HBO so you can give it the gore and the yeah. violence that you need and the language. And it's like, okay, that works. Good good on you. Yeah. I wasn't mad about it. Like, you're talking about a very low, 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 low level character in the, in the pantheon of DC. So here we go. You're trying to bring him to prominence, make him make him seem like somebody so he make so you can sell toys and, and t shirts. Yeah. So wasn't bad. And you picked John Cena, and like I said, John Cena, he 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 he's trying to be the rock, he, he's getting there. He, uh, but you know, he he he's he's taking really the baby steps to to make it to the rock just shot instantly to the top. Because it's the rock. <laughs> He's Black Adam. It's the rock. It's Black Adam. <clears throat> Who knows? They might meet on screen one day. You don't know. I could see it. Possible. In the yeah. same universe. Now, and I heard uh, season two already got greenlit as well. So we'll see what they do with that. Hey, why not have. Uh, a once in a lifetime for the third time, ain't that right, Matt? <laughs> oh, he he gone. He he's out here. Leaving us. He abandoned us. Why? I will say that going back to Vigilante, that's like the perfect design for Vigilante. He looks so badass with the helmet on. Yeah, it's not bad. I I, I kind of like to see what, what what McFarlane would do with that. Me too. Me too. Some company, yeah. Did you hear what I say, Matt? No, sorry. I I, mi- I missed what you said. I said like because they got Rock is Black Adam and Peacemaker in the same you know DC universe, man. We need to get them together. You know, once in a lifetime for the third time. Oh, I uh, <laughs> I think there was, I think there was one. Uh, it was one storyline in the Suicide Squad where uh, they had to fight General Zod. Like, uh, not not fight him, but they had to capture him. And I think the Suicide Squad versus, uh, I think the Suicide Squad fighting Black Adam was the original plot for the original Suicide Squad movie. Like, that's originally what it was supposed to be. Yeah. So, uh, my, my YouTube channel, it's uh, Mattitude22. So, like, Attitude, but there's an M at the at the front of it. Because my, cause, cause my name is Matt. And Mattitude. 20, yeah, tw- 22, uh, I, I don't know why that's there. My, my, my sister picked <laughs> that, so... <laughs> but yeah so like that like Suicide Squad versus Black Adam was like supposed to be the plot of the very first Suicide Squad movie so if we got kind of got that down the road uh, I, I'd be okay with it but we would have got Rock and Cena once in a lifetime for the third time mm-hmm. and people would have loved it and bought tickets but it's still on the table, so we never know. Yeah, yeah. Never know. All right, let's uh, move on. Um, fan first Monday, baby. Oh fan my first God. Monday is coming. <clears throat> and uh, we don't know what we're going to see, but we're going to kind of speculate what we would like to see or what we think we're going to see. So what, what, what are you guys thinking is possible? So what, do you, what would you want like uh, to see? I, I want to see. I want to see. Uh, they need to. They need to give us these. Uh, these Spider-Man characters from the movie. Yeah, like it. It seems weird that we never got a second wave 
closer to that movie coming out with uh, the Hall, the uh, Maguire and the Garfield Spider Man. Like, give me Doc Ock, give me Green Ob- Green Goblin, like fucking Sandman, Lizard, like all of that shit. Uh, but you know what I would actually like? I don't want to see a wave per se. I think you know how they do. Uh, like this year, it was like the Infinity Collection. And then the year the year before that, it was like uh, all the Fox like X Men stuff. Like they were doing like two packs. Y'all know what I'm referring to? Yeah. Like yeah, every every year they they release figures that are kind of part of this theme. I, I'd like to see them do something like that where it was like uh, it was like Marvel extended universe characters. So maybe for now, like we could just do Spider Man characters. But if we got like a uh, Dare Ben Affleck. Like a Hasbro Dare Ben Affleck, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad at that. Thomas Jane Punisher. Yeah, like a Thomas Jane Punisher. <laughs> so I, I don't know, we, we, wishful thinking for that stuff, but we definitely need those Spider-Man characters: <laughs> Doc Ock, Lizard, Sandman, Goblin, uh, Electro, and the two Spider-Men is like a like a must-have, like a must-have. See. This is what I was hoping uh, to see. I don't think they're going to continue the line, but you already mentioned it. But they started doing some movie X-Men stuff. Like, we got Mystique and a couple Wolverines and uh, some first-class stuff with Magneto and uh, Professor X. Uh, yeah, and some other ones, too. Uh, but then they kind of stopped. And I was hoping to see more characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe they could show at least, like, one or two more. I don't know. I was hoping to see that. Yeah, I, I, I'd be okay with that, too. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to jump onto Facebook and see if there's any kind of clues really quick. Uh, All right, what else besides Spider-Man, though, from Marvel Legends, though? Hmm. I'm hoping we see a banshee. We saw we get a siren. Are we going to get a banshee now? A banshee would be cool. Like the like the classic banshee. Yeah, like classic banshee. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Um, I, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I I, I kind of might be in the in the minority here, but I wouldn't mind seeing some comic, uh, some comic based. Uh, Eternals are actually better. Bet I'll do you one better. Give us more like Inhumans. Like we have Black Bolt and Medusa. It would be, it would be nice. It would be nice to kind of build up our Inhuman roster a little, a little more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some more more villains too. Yeah, always more villains. You gotta have more villains. Uh. More like more Hulk characters would be nice. Yeah. Like the Bi Beast, uh, the UFOs. Ooh, Gojira says, how about the Illuminati? That would be cool to have like a pack. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. That would be cool, actually. I could yeah, see that. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. The, the, yeah, like the, the Inhumans and uh, like the Eternals. I, I know that's more like. Uh, wishful thinking but they, they gotta give us these spider-man characters so that that's that's kind of the number one thing i'm hoping to see because those original figures are so they don't they don't necessarily hold up i know some people will say they do but i i don't really think they do and uh they're they're very expensive they're very pricey and hard to get you know I remember the Green Goblin being pretty good. I think he still holds up, but the others, not so much. Yeah. Not so much. Some of them are better. Like, some of them are better than others, but... I don't know. Hasbro, like, you want my money, right? Oh, give them time. They'll do it. But I just hope it's not going to be one of those situations where we have to wait such an extended period of time to get yeah. them packs or whatever you mentioned, the, you know? 
Yeah, that by by the time you get them, you don't even care. Yeah. Like, how many years did we have to wait to get a yellow jacket? Yeah. Or an iron monger or whatever they've been doing for those Infinity Saga packs, you know? Yeah, yeah, it took them like, forever. The new. monger, it was different because it was really cool. But, you know, by the time yellow jacket came out, it's been, you know, for such a small character, I guess. So many yeah. years. No, I definitely agree. And that's and that's what I'm kind of that's what I'm kind of saying. Like, do it now while that movie's still relevant and people are still interested in it. Like, don't wait six months and then people have kind of moved on to something else. You know, six months people have seen Doctor Strange and they want those characters yeah. and they don't care. They don't care about these characters. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, we'll see. Right. Like, uh... I'm trying to actually. My bad. I was looking because I was like, they had two trailers for Doctor Strange, kind of. Yeah, they had the official, and then they had like the Super Bowl TV spot or something. Uh, Sh 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 Shuma Gorath. No, I I don't I don't want to I don't imagine us getting a Shuma Gorath anytime soon. I, I I don't even know if they if they have the license for that character. I'd like a proper Beta Ray Bill. That'd be nice. That would be cool. Beta Ray Bill. But uh, Beta yeah, like a, a, a Haslab Shuma Gorath could be interesting. Or like I would like to see like like if they see like they're gonna drop a Marvel Legends figure, who would be someone that'd be like, yes, this is this is the guy. Uh, uh Mike, Michael Michael Prince says he wants a movie based on Johnny Silverhand, oh, which is, is something. It's something we could very easily uh, get, you know, yeah. just get Keanu. Fuck, uh, fuck a, a builder figure. Just give me a deluxe blob. I'll do you one better. Yeah. I, I'll do you one better. Uh, since we know we're getting Toad, give me, like, blob and avalanche in a two-pack. And just give us blob and avalanche in a two-pack so we could just finish off our brotherhood, man. Yeah, it was Avalanche. Like, too. like if you if you talk about like villains, like we we gotta finish this Brotherhood. And uh, another team I want to see get complete, uh, Serpent Society. Stop, stop, uh, you know, stop just uh, giving us one every couple months. Just give us a nice box set of all of the whole Serpent Society in one shot, you know, or at least the core members that were missing. You know, you know what I've been thinking of what the next Haslab Marvel Legends could be. I've been, uh, I've been speculating. They, they, you know, they have so much of the X Men done. Mm -hmm. They even did a big ass Sentinel. I could see them doing a like a Haslab funding thing for an for a in scale X Jet. Oh, oh, I could see that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm scared sure. X shit. Well, now, now, you, now you're talking. You know, so. Is that, that something you guys will go in on? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, me neither. Yeah, I wouldn't have that kind of money or stuff. No, I, I don't even think they would do that because I don't think there's not a need for that. And no one's, I don't think, like something, it's got to be, like, if, if, I feel at this point when it comes to those Kickstarters, if you're going to want people to pay for something, it better be something that's of real value. Like an accessory is cool and all, but it's like if I don't have a certain person, that accessory doesn't mean anything. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, exactly. 100% right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like, like the, the reason, like, the Jabba Barge got funded because a lot of people had 
most of the people that you can put on that barge. You had a Jabba, you had the Boba, you had all these characters that you've been collecting for years, but you never had a Jabba barge. But now you have one, and it's like, now it would make sense more because I have the things that I can put in there to make this, you know, that vision in your head complete. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yep. <clears throat> So it's like, uh, like I said, an X jet sounds good in theory, but it's like, is anybody really going to want to display their figures in a jet? Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe like, okay, I'm going to try to give you like a visual. Maybe if they make it so like you could open it up like that, and you could have them all like in seats. I don't know. Does oh, that like, make sense? Uh, like the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, it's it's a stretch. It's it's asking a lot of people, yeah. Especially for something that's that's that kind of stationary. Mm-hmm. Now, like I said, if you said like, oh, we're gonna we'll we'll make a <clears throat> like a fucking ego to live in planet and have that shit like articulate somehow, but it's just a big ball with a face on it. And maybe some like cool tentacles that look like things coming off the planet. I can make that at home with a beach ball. <laughs> maybe you could. Yeah. We'll see. Or uh, let me see. No, no, would be nice. Uh, fucking a proper Joe fix it. That'd be uh, nice. Get yeah. That. Finish yeah. finish making more hoax. If you're gonna make more hoax, at least get a proper Joe fix it. Um we finished off a lot of the teams, to be honest. If anything, like you would probably need like a uh a, a Phoenix to kind of finish off, kind of add up to that uh, Excalibur team, because we don't have a phoenix for them. Did you get and, that three pack? Nah, I, I'm not really trying to make an Excalibur to be honest. Fair enough. Plus, I have the like I, I have the old Captain Britain, but I'm like, yeah, I ain't worried about him though. So it is what it is. Listen, I already picked one international team to support, and that's Alpha Flight. <laughs> so. <laughs> Calibers out of here, buddy. You made the right. You made the right choice. Uh, Gojira says Warbound from World War Hulk. Uh, World War Hulk. Hmm? Yeah. Like there's a, there's a lot of uh, figures. I was like to say I would say um, kind of maybe uh, even update like I know it's been done to death already, but kind of really. Give us like a proper Venom, like comic book style, but proper, like not too overly exaggerated, but right there, like at that good medium. Like give comic a, book? Give us a decent Eddie Brock face. Yeah. And really like, yeah. like a like proper Venom. Comic book style Venom on that movie Venom buck. Base? Yeah. 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 That's that's what I'd like to see. Like a real good comic book venom. But yeah, we'll have to kind of see what uh Monday brings. Yeah. Should be interesting. We'll we'll talk about it Friday, more mm-hmm. than likely. But let's get in to the trailers. Uh, yeah. should, I should we do pickups before the trailer? Uh, yeah, we yeah. can do pickups before a trailer, definitely. I'm I'm just thinking the trailer should be the last thing we do. Uh, do you all got your your stuff ready or? Uh, you go first. I gotta grab mine. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll just kind of go. I'll just kind of go really quick because I I grabbed a lot of things here. So, uh, first thing I got, I got this uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife two pack. Ooh. With uh, Phoebe and the ghost, uh, ghost Egon, 
it's pretty cool. Like I, I liked it more than I thought I would. I got that. I finally, uh, after they got lost in the mail, and then uh, Entertainment Earth kindly sent me more. But I, I finally got my uh, Series One of uh, Invincible figures. Nice. So yeah, so I don't know what happened. They just uh, they just got lost, and I, I hit up uh, Entertainment Earth, and they they very kindly sent me another set. So pretty happy to now finally have those. I got uh, I got Omega Mon, uh, SH Figure Arts, the Premium Color Edition. It's been kind of on pre-order for quite a while, so happy to uh, finally get that. I haven't had a, I've I've kind of opened it and kind of messed with it a little bit. It's pretty pretty good. I got uh, I got Tech from the Bad Batch. Nice. I got uh. I got Quicksilver, and uh, Jimmy, you're gonna appreciate this. I got the I got the retail version of Pudgy Pig. Okay. Well, it's it's, it's only because the the price difference between this version and the Has Haslab version was like ninety dollars. Yeah. It's like a ninety dollar price difference, so uh, I just decided that uh, you know I'll just kind of get the retail version. It's still pretty good. You get you get most of the stuff. This one uh, I'm excited for. I got Sp Spaghetti and Friends Legend finally in my possession. The the often referenced, the often talked about Mosquito. <laughs> so Mosquito is finally here. Well, how many did you get though? That's the question. I, I, I only I only got one so far. You son of oh, baby. <laughs> so I finally got Mosquito. Uh, maybe I, I think I'm gonna save this for uh, next time we do a we do a three minute review and I'll kind of like open it. I'll open it live on the show. One just for uh, just for like just for ha ha's. And the 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 last the last thing I got. Uh, this is the big one, but I got a. Uh, I finally got the arc. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so pretty happy to. Uh, I've had this on uh, in my pile of loot for uh, a while. I've kind of been like avoiding shipping it because I knew it was gonna it was gonna be so it's gonna be so uh, heavy to ship. But I, I got it. Happy to have it. So I'll probably uh, open that sometime, maybe tomorrow. That's it. That's all I got. Well, that's all I got. That's a lot of stuff, but that's the end of what I got. Oh, actually, uh, I do have one more thing. I got a, uh, I got Dominic Mysterio. Booyaka, booyaka. Yeah, Mysterio. that's it. That's it. What you got, Jimmy? All right, gentlemen. Oh, I had ladies. One of you should be a lady. Uh, this, <laughs> uh, this is just I. Uh, I didn't unbox it. It's a one thousand toys. Infinite Chief. It's the non-deluxe version. I wanted a second one to do some stuff with. Uh, the rest of this is actually all Halo. Uh, that wasn't my intention. For some reason, all of my 20th anniversary pre-orders for the game came out or shipped to me all at once, so <clears throat> that's why it's all Halo. Uh, but I got my Jazzwares 2-pack of the CE Chief and Infinite. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I saw that at GameStop. Yeah. Yeah, it's looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's it's exclusive to GameStop. So this one's look so. actually looking better than the Thousand Toys one. He looks more game accurate, so I'm happy about that. That's from uh, Halo Infinite. Uh, this one is this one's from CE. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. So yeah, I got that. Yeah, they already they already released that Halo Infinite one already. Uh, this is the three and three quarter inch scale so i get uh chief and a grunt from infinite and then chief and a grunt from combat evolve so they're all chubby nice yep so as well i got that and then lastly again it's all halo uh this just came in yesterday i think this is from halo 3 and it's the warthog and arbiter and chief from the final mission so there's there's something about Halo where it just translates to figures so well. Yeah. 
And I'm so glad they made him copper. He's copper in that game. I'm happy. So that's what I got. Lots of Halo stuff this week. Probably. That's Halo. That, uh, that two-pack is pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah, it's really I, uh, I, I really, for the most part, I'm enjoying that Halo line, but they seem to be really slowing down on the six-inch stuff at least. I think they're going to stop the six-inch stuff eventually and just focus on their smaller ones. Like, we got we got two characters from uh, Halo Reach, but then they, they just kind of stopped. I was really kind of hoping they were going to finish that team off. Oh, they're almost done with that team. They, they only have two left. From uh, Reach? Yeah, Noble team? Yeah. Yeah, we're only missing Carter and George. We got June, we got Noble 6, we got Cat, Emil. Yeah, okay, so so maybe I'm missing some then, because the only ones I, I've, I've seen are the Cat and the Emil. Yeah, like even here uh, under Series 4, there's June right there. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm just kind of missing some then. Yeah, but again, it's like it's a slow grind. I don't know when we're going to get the last two. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Let me pull up what I got. Makes it quick for y'all. Good. Love wow. people. So it's all McFarland's. We have McFarland Lobo. Nice. Which he does kind of look like a hobo, but it's okay. What? Also, like I said, check your paint because uh, his uh, little beard thing could kind of look fucked up on some. So. This was the best I had. They had there, so then I got one Lex Luthor. Sweet. Which I had to do a little work on him to loosen up the fist, but got him finally free of his constrictions. <clears throat> not a bad, not a bad Luthor. And then I have a speed, a force to flash. Nice. Yeah, that's right. You know. And that's pretty much it, man. For that. Now it's time for trailers. Now we get our stream claimed. <laughs> now we get it's our time stream play or boot it off one or the other which okay. will it be hey leave a comment down below <laughs> <laughs> all right let me uh both run up here for your lovely paper all right we're gonna Watch the full version first, and then we'll watch like the second one from uh, the Super Bowls. All right. Oh wait, I forgot. I gotta take off my earpiece. So you guys can hear it. Am I coming in clear? Oh, you're sounding beautiful. Okay, let's do this. Mama Susan, please be, please be good to us. We just want to make quality content for our, for the lovely people. Don't be mad. <laughs> Every night, I dream the same dream. The nightmare begins. I did what I had to do to protect our world. You can control everything, strange. I opened the doorway between universes. We don't know who or what will walk through it. Wonder. 
do you know about the multiverse? You guys had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. He was right. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your desecration of Ray Hardy will not go unpunished. We should tell him the truth. Things just got out of hand. You break the rules. Look out! I become the hero. I do it. I become the enemy. It doesn't seem fair. That's wild. That is wild. Yeah, when they when they kind of talk about uh, this being the MCU's first uh, horror mo- horror movie, uh, y- y'all you could feel that a little bit, like that that shot of uh, Wanda with the bloody face, and then the 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 zombie strange at the end, very mm. uh, very menacing. The now we'll come back to this trailer, but let's uh, take a look at the the Super Bowl trailer. It's a little bit shorter. What do you know about the multiverse? We should tell him the truth. Stephen, this path exacts a heavy toll. Watch the full trailer on. First, we get a glimpse of uh, Zombie Strange. Yeah. So I su- so I suspect this is uh, Defender Strange, who we see earlier. Yeah. Uh, di- dies and then I s- becomes back as a zombie. That would be my prediction. I heard. Uh... Yeah, like yeah, right, right there. Yeah, it was kind of uh, revealed through a poster that the the what if animation's gonna be making a bit of a cameo in in this. I'm wondering uh, if the zombies are gonna work directly into that. I don't know. We see uh, if you see the poster, you could see Captain Carter's shield. Yeah, that too. Yeah. It looks good. Like uh, it, it looks different. It looks. This movie just looks different. Like usually the MCU movies are kind of lighthearted and fun. This looks like a DC movie where it looks uh and I mean that in a good way, but this looks like it's going to be very dark and uh I I kind of have the same feeling going into this as I did going into uh of Avengers Endgame where it, where it felt like uh like a culmination like like this is going to be like very like this is not going to be like a fun movie like i don't think this is going to be a fun movie I, I think it will be fun what i i guess what i'm trying to say is uh it's not going to be super fun and upbeat and lighthearted where characters are going to be cracking uh whips and all all, the, all those kind of shenanigans like this movie feels like it's going to be really uh should get real yeah, like it's it's gonna like the like kind of like the Batman where it just feels like this is a movie that's gonna be really uh, dark and emotional. Uh, Speaking of which, uh, very very uh, visceral. The scene right here is kind of looking like it's setting up uh, Illuminati. Yeah, so 
Stewart. Yeah. yeah. Possibly, you know, Professor X making his uh, MCU debut. Definitely Professor X. Uh, the dude from uh, the guy that played ba- Black Bolt in the Inhumans show is also rumored to be in this. Really? Yeah, so it wouldn't surprise me to see him here. And you know, ah. you can... no, go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, I, I suspect this version of the Illuminati, it's going to be like a multiversal Illuminati. Uh, yeah, I heard rumors that, so this Illuminati is going to consist of, uh, obviously, Professor X, mm-hmm. uh, possibly a Mr. Fantastic, because one of the silhouettes is like a really lanky, lanky kind of guy. And then there's a really interesting shot of some kind of Black Panther. It's not revealed if, if this is like a, a Killmonger Black Panther or a CPU I, I, render of the original. I heard uh, I heard that it uh, I heard that it would be uh, Killmonger. Okay, yeah, and then uh, I I just saw him while we were watching the trailer another one of those seats has a guy with a a sword on his back. I don't know who that. Could I think be. I think that's Mordo. Oh, that makes sense. I heard uh, Captain Carter could potentially be on this version of the Illuminati. Of course, the Tom Cruise as Iron Man, as Superior Iron Man, has been that rumor has been going around forever. Mm-hmm. We see the we see the Ultron drones. Yeah, in a I guess in this universe where his Ultron program worked. Yeah. Yeah, it just uh, it just looks interesting. Now, can can I can I can I level with you guys for a second? All right. If they, if in the first full length trailer, and they reveal Patrick Stewart, that tells me like what do you think they have that they're not revealing? Like if they're giving you Patrick Stewart in the first full length trailer, they got to have some crazy surprises up their sleeve. The first thing everybody's going to say is Wolverine's in it. He's not everyone. I just want to say that he's not, I, I can guarantee you everybody. He's not. Uh, Wolverine confirmed. This, uh, I, 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 I disagree. He's another one that I heard was going to be in it. Well, look, I'll say one thing about that. It's not going to be the Hugh Jackman one, I can guarantee you, but there has been a rumor with good evidence that there will be a very, very old Wolverine who's comic accurate. He's short. He's kind of chunky, played by the one and only Danny DeVito. <laughs> there's, no, there's, 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 there's no way that happens. I, I don't know. I, I I heard quite the opposite. I, I heard that uh, Hugh Jackman was uh, was going to be in it because he had always kind of been open about uh, he he would do another he would do another X Men movie if Patrick Stewart did it. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, uh, part of me doesn't want him back just because like Logan was such the such a perfect ending. But money yeah. talks. Yeah. yeah. Disney money wants you. You will take it, but loads. The uh, the scene where he's fighting uh, Gigantos looks pretty dope. Right, it's actually right there. He's throwing a bus yeah. at him. I know everybody thinks that's Shuma Gorath, but it's it's not. It's it's Gigantos. It's a Namor villain. Um, I guarantee you, we'll see Vision in this movie. Mm. Um. Uh, Reoccurring characters from WandaVision. I mean, it's her home. Yeah, we see. Yeah, uh, we see the house right there. So what? What I kind of. The, 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 the the rumor. The rumor I kind of, I kind of heard was that, uh, basically, like, they go to where they get brought to the Illuminati, wherever their base is. And uh, Wanda, Wanda finds that her kids are like trapped there, and basically, like the Illuminati has been. That's why she's never been able to find them because they they've basically blocked her from seeing them in any kind of conceivable universe. And then apparently, that's what's going to make this all kind of spin out of control. 
that's why we see the shot of her fighting unnamed character, which we believe is Photon, uh, Monica Rambeau, mm -hmm. in, in the Illuminati headquarters, and uh, that's where that's where shit kind of just goes off the rails. Obviously, uh, did you uh, there, did you guys see the meme where? It's it's uh, Doctor Strange saying every night I dream the same dream and then and then it shows the dream and it's just Wanda like half nude <laughs> sitting in bed or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny. Uh, Michael Prince uh, actually, uh, Wanda is is gonna be the villain in this film. So yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Good, good. Like mm -hmm. I'm glad they're finally taking a hero and doing doing it proper and making it a villain making them a villain if that's what happened in the comics yeah but yeah it looks good i'm really excited for this movie i i don't think i've been this excited for a movie uh maybe since like uh infinity war yeah. that might be a bit of a stretch but i like i i don't i don't think i was as excited as i am for this as I was for Spider-Man, because I feel like Spider-Man, we kind of had an idea of what we were going to get. Especially once we saw that first trailer and we we saw all the villains. We knew we were going to get Toby and Andrew. Like, it was like a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. But with this movie, it's, it's, it's hard because I literally have no idea. Like, there's, there's so many, there's so much stuff that they could do and they could give us stuff that we haven't seen and just be like, it's a new universe. Like they could give us, like I, I heard one rumor that, uh, uh, what's, uh, John Krasinski is supposed to play a Captain America variant in addition to oh. playing Mr. Fantastic. Oh, okay. So there's literally no shortage of, of stuff they could do. Hold on now. Is that Namor? The statue? Where? Right there. The guy in the water. Mm. Looks like he's treading water. I thought that was Namor for a second. So that, that to me, kind of looks like the pose of uh, when Captain Carter kind of went through the portal. Yeah, so there mm. we get the Ultron drones. Like I said, it's kind of wild. Like uh, there's, there's no. It, it's, it's, it's endless what they could do in this movie. Possibilities are endless. Impossibility. I'm curious to see Tom Cruise. I'm trying to close up, like. Can it can it pick up the shadowy figures now? Like there's six seats. There's three here, there's two here, and clearly his body's blocking one, which is probably Professor X, of course. Yeah. Right to his left. Yeah, the thing sticking out of his back would I would say would be Mordo. Yeah. Yeah. Mordo. This person's looking like it's kind of wearing a bodysuit, so it could be Mr. Fantastic, or it could be uh, superior Iron Man, so that, that's kind of a flip the coin right there for that. Now, to the right, looks like somebody's wearing a hood, sitting in the chair. It looks like, almost. Could be Doom. What's that? Could be Doom. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I know, but again, you're saying yeah, right. But there's, there's. Remember, we're we're now living in a world where Marvel has all their properties back, so nothing for them is off limits anymore. Like, yeah. just let 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 that sink in for a minute. Like, nothing for them is off limits. They could do anything. They could absolutely put Doom in this movie if they wanted to. There's no. That's what I'm saying. That's what's so interesting is like there's no end to what they could possibly do. Or it could be another version of Strange. Yeah, it could be that as well. But the one here with the kind of lanky bodysuit outfit could be looking, it's, it's looking kind of form fitting. Mm. 
we should tell him the truth. Yeah, that was obviously Patrick Stewart. I mean. The world is about to change. Impossibility. If you got that much. Like, imagine, like, remember in, uh, they did it for a while where, like, in the comics, there was, a there was, like, a gateway, and, uh, characters could travel between the 616 and the Ultimate Universe, like, w like, freely, and, uh, yet you had, uh, you had, like, Ultimate Tony Stark, who was kind of in charge on that side, and Amadeus Cho who was in charge on the 616 side. Imagine if this kind of opened up something where like that, where characters could kind of freely travel between universes. Could happen. Like, like imagine like where something where like, uh, the Fox X-Men characters could come in and do stuff, but not necessarily, but we could still have like a Fox version of the M or a, a MCU version of the X Men. Like we could have the Fox version and the MCU version exist at the same time. Or imagine a scenario where we could get Chris Evans or uh, Michael B. Jordan as Human Torch, but then still get them as yeah. Captain America and Killmonger. Like uh, it's crazy. There's so much they could so much they could do with this movie. Outside of just cameos, there's so much they could set up. Uh, I, I can't wait. I, I really can't wait. When is this coming out? May, I think. No, that's not too long. No, it's not too long at all, and it's gonna go by fast. Cause in March, you got the you got the Batman, you got Moon Knight, then you got uh, Morbius. Oh God, I forgot about Morbius. Yeah, so you gotta. Yeah. And uh, I hear Morbius is supposed to have some pretty wild cameos too. So yeah, you got those to kind of tie you down. So you know May is gonna May is gonna come by before you know it, and we're gonna be we're all gonna be watching this movie, shitting our pants from all the cameos. You got me thinking about Doctor Doom now. Like who? Who do you think they would even? Uh, I really want to. I really want to see Michael Fassbender as Doom. That would be a really good fit. Yeah, I want to see uh, Michael Fassbender. Everyone's been speculating that Giancarlo Esposito might take the mantle. Of Doom? Of Doom. Of Doom. That would work. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't think it'll happen, but I think it would be fine. I mean, he's evil. <laughs> The guy knows how to play a villain. As Doom, though, yeah. I don't know about I don't know about that one. Or they could simply bring back the original actor, uh, which you know. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, there's uh, there's 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 no there's no limit to what they could do here. The Outside of like, uh, you know, like at a certain point, it's 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 up to people that want to come back. Like, if Nicolas Cage doesn't want to come back and be Ghost Rider, they obviously he's not going to come back and be Ghost Rider. But like, there's just an endless possibility. Uh, Michael Prince. So, the Illuminati in Marvel is not the Illuminati as in the conspiracy theory. It's a little bit different than that. It's yeah, I think ones that come together, like Ojira said, who do behind the scenes stuff, whether it's good or bad. Yeah, I think you might be putting. I think you might be putting too much uh, thought into the name itself. It's just like a. It's just a name. Yeah. Yeah, like it was just it was just a group of individuals that would kind of pull the strings behind the scenes of the the, the Marvel universe. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. I'm excited, man. I, mean, I think I, it looks good, and sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, oh, no, that's basically all I wanted to say. Go ahead. And, uh, you know, this this might be a, more appealing to you and me and, and Gojira, but, you know, like Sam Raimi, you know, Evil Dead. Uh, so, you know, the, the fact that, like, you're probably going to get some horror elements. We've already seen it with the zombie strange is uh super exciting. Like that's the only thing we haven't really seen in the MCU is, is, is uh, an element that's truly horrifying, you know? Well, I mean, Sam Raimi, I mean, you, you know, you're not ah! going to get that. You're going to get, and we already got this already, but you know, you're going to get at least more Spider-Man goodness. Or at least like a cameo or something. Possibly. As, as possible. Like there's so much they could do. Yeah. Should be good. Should be good. And with that, we're going to do it for the night. Oh, all right. Oh, man. I want to thank all of y'all for joining us as always. Spend just a little bit of your Friday night hanging out with us. If you like what you've seen, thumbs it up. If you don't, it's all good. But subscribe if you're not. And uh, ring the bell because Mama Susan, she don't care about us. <laughs> and uh, hey, if you enjoy what we do here and you also into collecting, and just having a good time. Why don't you come join us on our Facebook group? Yes. Link is down below as well. So come check us out. And if you happen to be on Twitch as well, and you know, doing the thing, hot tubbing it, rubber dub dub. <laughs> don't want to get caught out there. <laughs> have us on the second screen, twitch.tv spaghetti friends. Rub a dub dub. <laughs> Sorry. Don't want to get caught out there. Really embarrassing. You got to sit and explain why you uh, got caught out there. Shorty's riding a banana. <laughs> All these innuendos. You get caught on your rub a dub dub. Pulling on your knob. <laughs> but yeah, come check us out on Twitch. Have us on that second screen just in case, you know, just in case, just in case, you know. So you click on and see good, wholesome content. Nah, content. Nah. nah. Re. <laughs> Re. Re. Have the best content. Re. Uh, Frostbite says just don't do a hot tub stream. I will not take that advice. In fact, 200 episode, Jimmy's going to get in the rubber dub dub, all in the tub with the, with the, with the hula hoop. And a, and a banana. And the, and Wouldn't the, be the only banana in there, though. <laughs> 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 Sorry. God damn it. Anyway. God damn it. Damn it, Jimmy. Just but yeah, <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see y'all next week, man. Thanks for joining us as always. Y'all have a good weekend. And, and, <clears throat> and try not to get caught playing with your rubber duck dog. <laughs> Bye. I love you. <laughs> Bye.